Hey everybody, my name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm a personal injury lawyer in the Philadelphia area. And today we're gonna to talk about how to spot and prevent fake personal injury cases. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along where I will make sure that your future personal injury case is protected because guess what? Nobody ever imagines themselves to be a plaintiff in a personal injury case. And my job is to fix what shouldn't have happened that you are going through. So how to identify and prevent fake personal injury cases. This is sort of the stigma that plaintiffs get. And I wanna be really clear. My clients almost always would rather not be hurt than go through a personal injury situation. But to actually identify scammers is a real thing because yes, there are two sides to the coin here. In terms of how to identify, what I'm gonna talk about is how to identify them and how to prevent them. Specifically, how to identify somebody who's a scammer or trying to do a fake personal injury case. They may have fake witnesses. So some of the things that you might wanna do to prevent someone like this, find independent witnesses that can either verify or say that what was said or what was seen was not actually said or seen. So something that you can do to prevent fake witnesses or fake statements or fake falls or fake car accidents or fake pedestrian crashes is to call the police. That's the most important thing to do right after somebody gets hurt. If you got hurt in a car accident, call the police. If your friend got hurt by crossing the street, call the police. If you fell at a store and you got hurt, call the police. It gives you an independent person who can verify what the facts actually are in a completely independent way from the parties that are involved. Second, record what was said with both your phone and a microphone possibly. If there are some sort of recorded statements, you should pull out your phone and take a voice recording of anything that was said or just pull out your phone and turn your camera on and record what was going on. Take video and pictures of the entire scene. Take video of that car crash. Take video of the damage on your car. Take video of anybody that's hurt. Take video of the entire scene. Take video of that fall area where it happened. If you take video, that will prevent scammers and will prevent fake cases. And certain parts of a case are admissible if you do record them. Next, gather independent witness statements. If you are falling at a scene and you are worried that that person maybe fell at your business and you think that they're full of shit, what you should do is go find independent witnesses that don't work for your store, that maybe were walking through the store who saw, because if they can verify what that person went through, then guess what? You might have a personal injury case on your hands. But if they say, no, that person just put that drink on the floor then fell themselves, that can actually help you out if you're the potential defendant in something like this. Um, lastly, just simply contact your insurance company. Because guess what? If somebody fell at your property or if someone's trying to blame you for a crash, if you contact the person, if you contact a insurance company that represents your business or that represents your vehicle or represents your home, you can tell them your side of the story. Because guess what? This is why we have insurance. We have insurance to protect us if somebody gets hurt on our property or someone gets hurt in a car accident with you. So use it. They pay for your court costs. They pay for your verdict. They pay for any settlement. They pay for the lawyer's fees. That's what insurance is there for. So if you don't use your insurance and you just deal with it yourself, you might put yourself in a worse situation where the scammer gets away with it. But if a good lawyer comes in and actually does prove your side of the story that that was a scammer, then guess what? You just saved a lot of time and you're not gonna actually have to go to trial in that situation if you do what you are supposed to do the right way. So some other things, you know, just keep your eyes open for things that smell fishy, sort of the gut test. If you think that something going on where somebody's claiming they were hurt just doesn't feel right, you know, just write something down about it. Why does that not feel right? Are there any cameras in the area that might've spotted it? Sort of just the gut test can be helpful in these kinds of things. Lastly, and the most important thing, if you are hurt and you were not at fault, you do have a personal injury case, don't think that because there are scammers that your case is not legitimate. Your case is legitimate if you got hurt and it was not your fault. 
And if you ever have any questions, I hope you don't need to reach out to me, but if you do, my information's below where I'd be happy to hop on the phone with you or with a member of my team who can make sure to walk you through any of your questions. Thanks so much. <laughs>